Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. The sun is shining. It's, uh, it's a bit chilly, um, but we are on our way to winter now. Uh, so today I'm going to be taking you through um, a follow-up of the job that I did um, over the past couple of days. Um, this was a roof clean um, that's been all scraped and the moss removed from it. Um, and today we're going to be soft washing the roof. Um, so that's sort of the results you can expect um, once the roof has started to dry out. Uh, typically, if you've done a decent, you know, scraping job on the roof. Um, this side's facing the sun, so it's dried out a lot quicker than the other side. The other side, the side is still quite damp, um, but that's no problem. Um, so yeah, I'll be taking you through some sort of methods and stuff on how to accurately soft wash a roof. So yeah, it's one of the most important aspects of the job really is the biocide application to the roof once you finish scraping. Um, because it could be a matter of months or, you know, even a few years before the moss starts to grow back if you don't do it. So here's my gear. That's a, um, a Renegade pole. Um, it's quite a small one, actually. It's only 18 feet, I think. Um, and that's a D8 component spray nozzle on the end. Um, I'll insert a clip in here now on, on how to sort of fit that to your Watford pole. All right then, guys. So you're going to need a, um, obviously, a D8 component spray nozzle, a Watford pole, um, obviously, with a hose through it as well. You want to pull that out a little bit um, further out than it, than it will be. Um, a gooseneck is very important as well, that's what you're screwing the spray nozzle onto, as you can see there. And then it's as simple as that, the hose just goes straight into the push connector fitting. Um, and use a little O-clip to secure it on if you want to. Um, I don't bother because I actually use this pole for multiple different things. Um, so it's just a bit of faff really, but I guess to be safe, um, tighten it up. Pop the gooseneck to your required angle and off you go. Um, Big Boy Backpack 2 from Facelift. Um, so you want one litre of biocide in that and about 20 litres of water. So that's filled up to around, sort of around here. Um, yep, lovely. And then PPE, so face mask and uh, some face protection as well. Right then, so I'll, um, I'll start soft washing now and I'll sort of do a voiceover with a few sort of techniques um, and the best ways to do it. Because even, even I'm still learning every day and I've been doing this sort of stuff for a while, so. Yeah, look at that roof, it's looking lovely. I'll, uh, I'll try and put in some before pictures of what this roof looked like as well. Um, I'll insert that now for you so you can see the difference. Cheers, I'll get to it. Alright then folks, so yeah, just get all um, set up. I use my backpack on the lowest setting um, that you can use it on. Um, all you need is a really light, low pressure spray um, and just try and get a you know really good even spread. Um, if you have it on too much pressure, you'll find yourself wasting a lot of the chemical and you'll have a massive rundown. Um, and yeah, it's expensive stuff, so it's a bit of a waste really. So keep it on low pressure and just try and get you know a decent, even coverage of the roof really. Um, I'm starting here on some of the more awkward parts of the property, just sort of getting it out of the way. Um, so then I'm free then to, to reach the rest of the roof as, as well as I can. Right then, so what I'm doing here is I'm just sort of cutting in a line so I know sort of where I've been and where I'm going. Um, now this is the, the best sort of technique really, um, is to start your way from the bottom and work your way up the roof um, instead of starting from the top. Um, this sort of gives you the best coverage, there's not too much rundown, um, you know, and you can sort of see what you're doing and if the tile's, you know, thoroughly um, covered or not. Um, but sometimes it's not going to be possible really, it's going to be too hard to reach, it's going to be an awkward angle. Um, so it's not the end of the world if you don't start, I mean there's a lot a lot of roofs I'll end up starting from the top just to make life a bit easier for myself. Um, and if I do I'll always make sure if I've got any solution left over after the roof has been sprayed. Just to go back over some spots here and there, um, the customer's paid for the product so if you've got any left over, you know, I may as well use it on the house. You know, you can't put too much on the roof, you know. Um, the more the better really. Um, so yeah, start from the bottom if you can. Um, work your way up, try and get in them gaps, try and get in them ridges as well. Um, yeah, and the chemical shouldn't be running too much, it should sit on the roof and soak in and the sort of white um, fluffy effect of it will disappear really quickly. And this is good, it means it's soaking into the tiles.
Right, so I thought I'd bring you back here. Um, this is where I'm actually starting from the top of the roof and spraying down. The sun was in my eyes, it was extremely bright as you'll see any second now. Um, so I thought it's best, so I can see what I'm doing, I'll just work my way down the roof on the front of the house. Um, but as you'll see in a minute as well, um, I do go over pretty much the entire roof twice just to make sure if there's any little bits that I missed because of the sun being so bright. Um, you know, just making sure I get full coverage on that roof. So what the biocide will start to do over the next coming months is breaking down all of the organic matter that's left on the roof. So the, the bits of algae and moss that are stuck in the gaps that you just can't get to with a scraper or even by hand in some cases. Um, yeah, it will start to kill that off slowly but surely. They say full results, you know, expect within around 18 months, um, but it can be sooner than that. You can start to see some decent results from six months. It just depends on your location, the state of the roof, and um, sort of how damp it is, I've found, to be honest. You might be looking at um, a bit of a longer time to get some good results if the roof stays really damp. Um, but as long as the biocide has had a chance to soak into that roof, it's going to be completely fine. So trust in the product. Um, make sure you're letting your customers know that it is a long process. This isn't an instant clean like a bleach. Um, you know, it's a long process, but it's a lot safer on the roof. Um, yeah, and it's all biodegradable, so it's not going to be harming anything. Um, but the only thing I would say is be very careful if there's plants and foliage, you know, all around. Any runoff, um, you do not want to be getting this stuff on plants because it will kill off the plants. So if you do get any on any plants, make sure to spray them down with water, preferably beforehand, before you clean the roof, spray the plants down and afterwards as well. Um, it wasn't needed on this job, there's very few plants around and I was very careful with the overspray. So we're coming to the end of this job now. Um, yeah, very straightforward, there's, there's, you know, there's not really much to this, it's just a bit of hard graft um, and a bit of know-how on the product that you're using basically. Um, yeah, if you need any advice or anything, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, thank you very much for watching, I've just hit 100 subscribers as well which is brilliant, I didn't think I'd get there that quickly, um, so if you do enjoy the videos keep subscribing, give the video a like and I'll see you very soon with another video, cheers.